most disappointed man in the country besides Mitt Romney is Dick Morris. As you may know, he predicted a big Romney victory at last live. Problem was, he was analyzing Uruguay. <laughs> Morris joins us now from West Palm Beach, Florida. <laughs> All right, Morris, so what say you? I plead guilty. I goofed. I made a mistake. Um, I undercounted the uh, minority turnout and women uh, and young people, not a single women. Uh, I thought that the 2008 turnout was a fluke. Uh, I think on your program many times I said that if the turnout is what it is in 08, then the polls are accurate and Obama's going to win. But they're not. And I said you need to average 04, 06, 08, and 10 and take the average so that you get rid of the outlier. Well, it turned out not to be an outlier. It turned out to be a trend. Just apologize. Shut up. The average said that 11% of the vote was black. In fact, it was 13. The average said 8% Latino. In fact, it was 10. The average said 17% under 30. In fact, it was 19. The average said 16%. There was a lot of numbers, but fact, he's not apologizing. When you take those he was making all this every week. He was just making this outrageous predictions. Most of which went to Obama. He should shine so on Nate Silver's, Silver's shoes. That's what I believe. Would lose by five points. Romney would win by five. And in fact, Obama won by one. That's a six-point move, and that's because I got the demographics eight points wrong. Okay. The permanent conclusion here is that, as Sabato said, America has changed. Oh, it was not just rally to the first black candidate and uh, overwhelming college kid fantasy and, you know, rock star and all of that. Oh, oh, it was a fundamental election that illustrated a change in American society. But remember, and you people have, that you have, have done it before for 30 years, like me, missed it. All right, remember, you had 2010, though, that went swung back the other way when the Tea Party... And, That's and, what and, threw me off. Right. I mean, so, and I'm not buying this whole... Uh, I know we're in a different country, and I know secular progressivism because of the public school education system and a lot of things have taken strong root. But as I said, if the economy doesn't improve, two years from now, the Democrats are, the Democrats are going to get well, whacked. And it doesn't matter how many single got, women are running around, they're going to get killed. I got, so, I got something really scary for you, which sets it in a very interesting context. 13% of the vote was black. Obama carried it 12 to 1. 10% was Latino. Obama carried it 7 to 3. 19% of the vote was under 30. Obama carried it 12 to 7. 18% of the vote was single white women. Obama carried it 12 to 6. Now, some of those overlap. But based on demographics, before they walked into the polling place, before they had a decision to make, Obama carried those groups by 43 to 17. That means out of the entire remaining 40% of the country, he needed to get 15% of the vote to win. Now, it's not quite so bad because a lot of the single women are black and a lot of the young people are Latino and so on. But anyway, you could basically say that it was about 35 to about 12 of people whose votes were decided for them by their ethnicity, their age, or their gender, yeah, or their I, I, condition I, I, I'm of marriage. understanding that, but if those, and, those and people are going to have any job, they're going to... Wait, wait. I don't, mean that, I don't mean that they're bossed and they're told what to do. What I mean is their perspective is a very different one. But it's from going the to other change. the 60% that, uh, yeah, their perspective, that is not in those categories. Their perspective is going to change based upon their economic livelihood and, and how well they're doing. Now, final question. Not necessarily, yeah, Bill. It will. I don't know Diff, if Diff, they, Diff, this, if is, we, this is no night to argue with me, four more years of recession, <laughs> he'll still win 12 of the 13 right, black fine. vote. How badly does this hurt your franchise? How badly does it hurt? Well, you know, anybody else that's gotten a president of the United States elected, tell me you're better than I am at it. All right, so you're going to harken back to the... As far as I'm concerned, I to live in a world the with Axelrod and Rove and Cadell and Cargill because we're the only ones that have done it. All right. So Dick Morris is standing there and uh, taking the heat. All right, Morris, thanks very much. Play more Heads of Fact and Moves along this evening. Bernie Goldberg is...